So honestly, guys, from what I see, from what I hear from top to bottom, what it first sounded like, first of all, the story is very outlandish. It's really crazy. It's very, very extraordinary. It's very just like uncommon. It's very, very uh, extreme, the story about, you know, what happened, how Corey first told him that he was messing with some girl. Maybe there was some truth to that. And then King went right back to Carmen and told Carmen. And then that caused conflict between him and King because he said, how are you going to go back to my girl and tell her that I was messing with a female? (coughs) Corey said that he didn't do it. He was just trying to, you know, see like what he was going to say. Like, you know, if he was going to give him some information or whatever the case may be. He said he was just trying. He was just saying that to see what he was going to say. And, um, you know, because King and Nick had been going through problems. But instead, King went to Carmen and told Carmen that this is what Corey said. Now, see, if Corey actually was messing with a female, I don't know. Maybe he was. And he basically told King. And King went right to Carmen and told Carmen. Carmen is popping off. And um, Corey's like, well, he broke bro, bro code, basically. So <clears throat> after that. King is riding by Carmen's house, popping up at Carmen's house. Food is being delivered at Carmen's house. You know, some weird stuff or whatever the case may be. And um, then King just goes and tells um, the manager that a lie saying that, oh, he, he had sex with Carmen or whatever the case may be. I think that, you know, if this story is true, if it's not, it's either two things. It's either it's cap and, you know, people just want clout. And so they concocted this whole plan because managers are involved. So managers, they basically help to stage things and to, you know, basically they, they, they help with your career. So either they stage this and this is like another way to get views and to get, you know, really popping on the Internet and to get that money to get that check at the end of the month. Or it's the truth because um, and if it is the truth, I think that King was simply trying to get with Carmen to hurt Neek because Neek had cheated with two rappers, you know, um, Fredo the Bang. Fredo the Bang is one of them and another rapper. So she cheated with two rappers and King cheated with a girl in Corey's house. And so she was hurt and she cheated. And, you know, so basically King, um, I think that well, how do you get a girl back? You know, how do you pierce a girl's soul? mess with her best friend and I think that's what he was trying to do if it is true I think that he was trying to revenge cheat and try to sleep with Carmen to make Neek hurt to make her feel very 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 hurt because that's the ultimate hurt when you when your best friend does something like that to you that's like your soul is just broken your spirit is shattered so he wanted to I think that's what he wanted to do if it is true um they were villain T like basically Neek and King they have threesomes and Neek paid off a girl one time to not come out with the fact that King was cheating and it's like why pay these girls off I would let these hoes talk to be honest y'all not getting a dime out of me because I'm not embarrassed he he you're he the dude is embarrassed he's the one that has to deal with the backlash I ain't gonna deal with no backlash I'm not gonna spend no coin on no hoe I'll never spend no coin on no female um you cheated you did this you did that you did this you did you did the third you can you have to fix it you have to clean it up clean it up um if you want to pay a hoe off pay a hoe off but alex is not doing it and um you know because i'm not going to spend my coin on a hoe for you know for what what did i do to be embarrassed i'm not going to be embarrassed i didn't do it you did it so if you want to save your face pay her off that's your business and 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 you know i would let you basically suffer the consequences of your actions or whatever and you deal with me and you deal with social media i don't give a damn i'm not trying to throw you out there to the wolves but i'm not gonna pay no girl off either to hide with your wrongdoing it is what it is i'm not paying no hoe off at all a, a hoe will never get my coin it'll never happen not in this galaxy not in, not in this milky way galaxy hell no nah. it ain't it ain't gonna go down like that you did it so you're gonna deal with the consequences but um that's neither here nor there when they started spilling like personal information like neek cheating they them having threesomes king and neek speaking of them i was like okay this might be true because they spilling tea like you know if if this was a stage print they're not gonna go that far but you never know a check you know people do anything for money so a check is a check so they might go to the extreme for a check but what i'm saying is 
Um, um, it may be true, it may be not. I don't know. And the fact that Carmen let Nick slap her or whatever, Carmen seems like a type of female that would actually say, hey, I deserve this, go ahead. She do. She does seem like that type of girl. But it's like, it sounds staged, but at the same time, they, they drop in tea. So it's like, it sounds true at the same time. Like I said, if it's staged, it's for a bag. If it's, if it's true, it's because I think that King was trying to revenge, cheat, and get Carmen to cheat because... You know, he he knew that if she, if he cheated with Carmen, he could get Neek where it hurts. That's what I think. So comment down below and tell me if you think this is all cap or if you think this is true and why you think that King concocted that lie and said that he slept with Carmen. I think it was to basically, I think that was his motive. I think that he wanted to sleep with Carmen to hurt Neek because that's the ultimate hurt sleep with the best friend, not just any girl. If you sleep with the best friend, you, 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 you get the core. You hit her spirit. You hit her soul. If it's a random female, it hurts. But if it's the best friend, you hit her soul, her spirit, her core. And I think that's what he was trying to do. So comment down below and tell me what y'all think. And one thing that Nick had said that caught my attention was that she was like, oh, whenever Carmen and Corey get into it, Corey puts Carmen out and Carmen has to go stay with Nick. First of all, I'm not leaving my house for nobody. I'm not leaving my baby or my house. You can't put me out because this is my home too. You got you. You must out of be. You must be out of your rabbit mind to think that I'm gonna leave my home. What whose name is on the deed as well? Her name should be on the deed if they're married. His name is on the deed, and her name should be on there too. If her name is not on the deed, she needs to change that because that's why he's doing that. And even if her name wasn't on the deed, he should never put his wife out, the mother of his child. If that's the truth, then you know Carmen definitely needs to boss up on Corey and let him know I'm not going anywhere because I wouldn't go anywhere. Oh, get out of where of my home. Sit down and go drink a Capri Sun and cool down, sir. I'm not going anywhere. She's not leaving. She's on the deed. And even if I'm not on the deed, I have a ring on my finger. I'm your wife. I'm not going nowhere. You can't put me out. You're going to have to drag me out. You're going to have to diary of a mad black woman, me. You're going to have to do that to me, sweetheart, because she's not leaving. You need to drink some orange juice. You need some milk and calm down. Because I'm not leaving. That's that's the ultimate disrespect. I'm not gonna leave my home because you mad. You feel some type of well. You better go drink a uh, some high C fruit punch and eat some Oreos and relax, or go to another bedroom in, the, in that big ass house that they have. But you ain't gotta tell me to leave because there's enough rooms for you to separate yourself from me. Or you can go to the Four Seasons yourself. But I'm not leaving my baby. I'm not doing that. Um. So if that's the case, then no, Carmen, never leave again. It's your home as well. You know, you can't be put out of your own spot. Don't let no man do that to you. I, girl, Corey could never. A man could never. A man could never do that to me. That's why I'm not equipped to be in a relationship right now because I'm all types of. And that's not even about not being equipped to be in a relationship. It's about having self-respect. Like for me, like that's not a problem for me to pop off because somebody want to put me out and I'm not leaving. That's not being crazy or being unreasonable. It's being, it's it's demanding my respect. Who's going to leave where? At a, these are my Italian floors. These, this, that, these are my walls. This is my bedroom. That's my baby. I'm not leaving my, my furniture, my Italian floors, my island, my kitchen, my bathroom, my master bedroom to go sleep at a friend's house because you feel because you're mad no go sleep go take a rest break you're delusional your brain is clouded that's what's going on i'm not going nowhere she's not leaving point blank that's dead that's dead dead in it coffin put it in put a nail on it beat it up with a um a hammer you know what i'm saying lay it to rest and let it go because it's not happening